Ahoy, and welcome back to another Brethren Guide. One of the most highly requested things I have been asked to make a guide on, and that is how to win more battles in Hourglass. The Sea of Bones, or more commonly known as Hourglass, has become very sweaty as of late, and in future guides I will explain how to do things like, es like escape death spirals, and how to defend your ship from boulders, but today I would like to show off my basic step-by-step -step method to winning Hourglass. Step 1. Supplies. Always make sure you are well supplied to the best of your ability, as some battles can take a while and sometimes can turn into a case of one ship outlasting the other. This isn't always the case, but it's good to have a good amount of chains, cannonballs, food and planks, as that one chain shot or that one cursed cannonball you may find, for instance, can change the tide of battle to your favour. Step 2. Preparations before you dive. One thing that a lot of my crew forget to do and that is grabbing everything you need before you dive. It's important that everything is in your pockets before you dive, so when you spawn into battle you aren't running around below decks when you could be on deck using cannons or adjusting sails. Also make sure every member of your crew is standing by ready to turn helm and raise sails as soon as you spawn into battle. More on crew placements in another video. Step 3. Going into battle. When you come up above the waves, both ships start off facing each other at a distance. First thing you want to do is bring your ship to a full stop and at the same time turn your helm one way. I recommend turning right as this is the most popular way of turning the ship and I don't recommend you going parallel with the enemy ship as this opens your ship up to easy cannibal shots. Essentially you want to bring your broadside to bear first before the enemy does. Step 4. Opening Broadside. This is the most difficult part of the battle in all honesty and that is becoming the most dominant ship. We will make a guide on cannons in the future but you do want to be hitting your cannon shots consistently and in the right places. You want to apply so much pressure to a point where the enemy ship will want to start pulling out of the battle. Aiming at the deck of the enemy ship as well as towards the waterline can help achieve killing an enemy with a cannonball. Step 5. Immobilising the enemy. When you see that the enemy wants to pull out of the battle to reset and repair, this is when you want to immobilise the enemy, prevent the enemy from running away to reset the battle. If the enemy runs away, then you will have to try and get a dominant broadside again, which the enemy may very well achieve the second time round. Using chain shot, aim for the mast, and if you have any cursed cannonballs like rigging balls or anchor balls, Use them too. Step 6. Keeping up the pressure. With the enemy immobilised, the first thing that they are going to want to do, and that is get their ship on the move. You do not want that. Instead, you want to not only fire into the ship's hull to cause water to flood in, but you also want to fire cannons or blunder bombs on areas where you would raise the masts on the enemy ship, get the anchor up, and the actual masts themselves if they manage to get them up. Step 7. Sending Boulders. At this point the enemy is probably panicking, so at this point if you feel there is enough damage for the enemy to worry about to a point where they can only bucket out water, then you may send out a boulder or two if you are on a larger ship over to secure the sink. When boarding you don't necessarily need to kill people but instead either distract them or make them backsplash as when they sink they will be transferred to a new server anyway. Using things like blunder bombs, sword lunging or firing eye of reach shots at the enemy is enough to make them panic and cause them to sink. And there you have it, my basic step by step method to winning hourglass. I would say this method works very well as my success rate is very high, but as I stated the opening broad is the most important part and it's vital you win it. There are other ways of winning hourglass, but this is my favourite method to win fights. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and, let, and leave a comment down below saying what you would like to see us cover in future Brethren Guides. Farewell and happy pirating.